China has just taken a significant step in breaking the U.S. chip blockade by announcing its domestically developed high-end DUV lithography machine, featuring a resolution below 65 nanometers and an overlay accuracy below 8 nanometers. As a core device in semiconductor manufacturing, the technology directly impacts chip performance and quality. For a long time, China has relied heavily on imports for lithology machines, with 225 units brought in just in 2023, costing over 8 billion U.S. dollars. Nearly all of China's lithography machines come from ASML, a Netherlands-based company. However, under increasing pressure from the U.S., ASML has been restricted from exporting its equipment to China since 2019. Recently, on September 6. The Netherlands expanded its export controls, requiring license for two key DUV machines. Following these controls on September 9, China's Ministry of Industry and Information Technology published a document that confirmed China's ability to produce 28 nanometer chips using the new DUV machine. While this machine isn't ready for advanced CPUs or GPUs used in smartphones, it can produce essential chips for smart home devices, EVs, and airspace technologies. This new DUV machine was developed by Shanghai Microelectronics Equipment Group, a company placed on the U.S. Commerce Department blacklist in December 2022, restricting its access to certain technologies. Although there is still a gap with global two nanometer chip technology, this development is a critical step towards self-reliance amid U.S. sanctions. However, this recent breakthrough remains somewhat shrouded in mystery, with only few reports emerging in China. This reflects a common Chinese principle: work more, talk less. Some speculate that China's low profile on this issue is to avoid drawing attention and further sanctions. Opinions among Chinese internet users vary. Some celebrate this progress, claiming China's rise in the chip sector is an irreversible trend. No blockade can stop this historical process. Others caution: We're still too generous behind the EUV technology. The gap with the ASML is about 20 years. Internationally, one user comments ironically. U.S. government is acting as a great motivator and driving force for China to innovate on its own without using American technologies. Another says, "For a country capable of landing a robot on the bank of the moon, sooner or later China will figure out how to make the chip making machines, and then we'll make a lot of them, a lot cheaper for everyone in the world to buy." So, what do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comments.